What's good, yo? You know who it is. It's your boy Super Black. Today we're gonna be talking about how I hit 91. Uh, well, basically 90 overall. This is for all the guys who just got the game for uh Christmas. Well, this will be earlier than Christmas, but uh yeah. I want you guys to also spam in the comments and on Twitter. Happy birthday, Super Black! Since my birthday is literally on the 23rd, so. Yeah, I want you guys to go ahead and do this shit. Tell me how I look real quick, all right? With the, you know, with the retro Hank the Tank shit. But speaking about Hank the Tank, he just got upsetted by Fungus. Fungus is now in the $500 tournament. Surely you guys should know what I'm talking about. But if you don't, how about you go in the description below, subscribe to Troydan Gaming, all right? Because tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern, he will be live streaming a $500 grand prize tournament and I will be competing I go against Zesty Jalapeno in the first round hey you don't want to miss it we're both really good players uh sh shout out to Zesty as well he's a good player but hey we're not here to give out shout outs we're here to talk about how I hit 90 overall so yeah without further ado let's get right into it so we're going to be talking about the badges which I initially which I'm still grinding or uh, grinding for or initially got. So, Love City Parser, Pick and Roll Maestro have been a massive role during this because when you when you do these two together, you're basically getting like I don't know 1.5k XP for every time you do that. Uh, mid range Dead Eye. It's quite hard to make heavily contested mid-range shots, but if you can, then that's good because I believe it's like a thousand or eight hundred XP for my career and pro AM games. Tear droppers, uh, if you get just a lot in general, like forty of them, you're looking at like I don't know twenty-five k, uh, which is quite good, and that's the same with difficult shots as well. So keep your eye out on them. Acrobat. Acrobat is really important to all archetypes because if you can hit an acrobatic layup, then you're going to be hitting them consistently. Um, it, it will help you contribute to hot spots. You will need them for other games as well. Also, a relentless finisher with that. It doesn't really do anything, but it's really good. Now, there's a badge which I really want to talk to you about. It's the hardest badge by far to grind. It's the charge card. Now, even though it is 12,000, it's so good because one, one charge could get you 1,000 XP. So keep your eye out on that. If you are just playing my career, you don't care if you're playing my career, go ahead and try and grind for that charge card because you will get 1,000 XP. If you do that, like, if you get, like, 40 charges in two games, that's, like, 40 XP right there, and that's really good. That's really good. Uh, that's that will help you out a lot, but of course 2k will start patching this game again um, And yeah, so I will get into my short animations. I will not get into my dribble moves I will save that for another animation now for another time also not my jump shot I won't be showing like my actual jump shot cuz you know uh, Another video, you know man trying to get more attraction more views so I'll show you my shots, my dunks and layups, and yeah, I don't even think I have any dunks, but we'll go check. So this jump shot, I call it green because every time I keep green with this free throws, it doesn't really matter. Have any free throw as possible. If you have like, what's it, free throw ace and silver, at least you're greening them. Now dribble pull ups. Stephen Curry is a smooth animation. I know I'm sounding like a bad one. To be honest, I don't even like Stephen Curry. But the Curry 4s actually look quite decent this year. So I just, I'm just wearing it. Not to mention the dribble pull-up is so smooth. Now, there's another one which I do like on this game. And that is the... Where is it? That's the Athletic 3, I believe. Yeah, Athletic Free, I also do like a lot. I used to use that, but then, you know, I, I stumbled across this Steph Curry 
with my new jump shot and I've just been greening off triple shots from free even. They've just been going in without without doubt. So yeah. Now spin jumpers I choose normal. Now the reason why is because this could help you with the up and under specialist. It's really good because you know uh you fade with it. Some of them you go straight in which is quite annoying. But yeah. Uh, hop jumpers for hop steps. This is the best hop step in the game by far. Normal 21. You can use these to combo up with dribble moves or just, you know, uh, just get the, you know, just get off dribble shots in. Now, it's really good because you can perform a really good dribble move, which is the massive hop step. You literally jump back with the ball and you can still dribble. So it's quite cool. I do appreciate this a lot. Now fades, fade one and hook one, post hop shot one. These these ones every year have just been getting better. Like I think it's the same animation each year, but I've just been greening more post shots. And my post scoring is like a 60 something. So I don't know how I do that, but I can literally be almost near the three point line. I could, I could fade from it. And basically green 50% of it so it's quite crazy um, and yeah now shimmy fade I don't really focus on these but if I do ever want to do a shimmy fade I always go with two because two always gets the opponent in my opinion um, <coughs> also uh, what is it? it it just reminds me of Kobe a bit and Dirk. It's like it's like Kobe and Dirk had a love child. This is what would come out with a shimmy fade, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. Uh shimmy hooks. This is like I don't know, some Yao Ming, Shaquille O'Neal shit. I don't really care about that. Uh but yeah, let's get into dunks. I don't even know if I have any dunks. Um but yeah. My layups are the circus ones. Uh, the reason why I choose this is because it's more fancy ones, and believe it or not, I've actually got some ankle breakers off these, uh, off these uh, layups. So I suggest you do use them a lot. Uh, now, windmill of one is by far one of my favorite ones because it's just such a fast animation. Um, you you can't stop it. It's one of the most unstoppable dunks on this game. Um, clutch baseline reverses. Uh, windmill baseline reverses. They just make for a great contact dunk animation, even though you don't have any contact dunks. I'll show you that later. Baseline reverse of two reminds me of Bill Shaq. If you're literally under, if you're literally under the rim, then that's so. It's so. It's so, like amazing. It's so. It's so consistent. Like you won't mess with it. Now, side clutch is by far my favorite dunk in the game because it's literally unblockable. You have you have like a two percent chance if you are not a six five or taller, then you're not blocking this shit, right? You're not blocking this shit. Just you might as well run away because you don't want to get in a poster. But yeah, front clutches as well, just as good. But I would say six threes could even dunk this, so that's why I prefer the side clutches more compared to the you know to the front clutches now leaning slams if i want to go michael jordan on you if i want to go vince carter on you then this is what it is the leaning slams it's so good because even though i don't have contact dunk animations i'd be seeing some of the contact animations even though i don't have it and it's so crazy so yeah um you're just giving me extra xp i guess Straight arm Tomahawks. Uh, this is known as like the LeBron James signature dunk. Like, you know, that cocky dunk when he starts screaming and shit. Like, also like what's Russell Westbrook as well. You can't forget him. But yeah, these ones so consistent. It's, once again, just for posters. These, these dunks are really good for like slashing archetypes. So yeah, keep that in mind. Now for number 10, I choose the big man one because it's like he reaches over you. Now my guy is a 6'7", so he does go into the big man category. 
So if you guys did want to know that, then now you know. Um, now, yeah, I believe those are all my dunks. I do have the alley oop dunks as well. I want to be catching alley oops, you know, for at least some house rule events. Uh, you see right here, I have no contact dunks. But yeah, those are all uh, my dunks and shooting animations. I've told you about the XP many more. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys do like the video. Uh, if we get this video to like 8 likes, 8 likes before uh, New Year's, then I will upload my jump shot and my dribble moves at the same time. So like in, just packed in one video probably. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.